Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make these awesome peanut butter cookies for dogs. Now this recipe originally comes from thecookierookie.com, so I will leave that linked in the description box below in case you want to check it out. Now my dog loves these treats, admittedly, he loves the majority of things he can put in his mouth, but nonetheless, they do make a healthier alternative to a lot of the commercial treats you can buy. Commercial treats tend to be full of sugars and fats and chemicals and words you can't even pronounce and things that just make you a little bit iffy about putting them into your pet's system. So I always find it a lot more comforting when I can make treats at home. At least I know what's going into them and I know that my dog isn't being pumped full of nasty things. So enough jibber jabber, let's head over to the kitchen to collect together the ingredients we need and get baking. I don't know what this was. Before you start, you're going to need to preheat your oven to 170 degrees Celsius, which is about 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and line a baking tray with baking paper. For the ingredients, you're going to need two cups of flour. Now, wholemeal or whole wheat flour are definitely the healthiest options, but if you can't get them, you can just use plain white flour. Just keep in mind that it isn't as healthy. You're going to need one cup of natural peanut butter with no chunks and definitely no chocolate in it one teaspoon of baking powder, make sure it's baking powder and not baking soda, one egg, and one cup of water. First off, plonk your flour and baking powder into a mixing bowl and give them a little stir to combine them. Next, mix in your egg. Now, I'm using an electric mixer to save me some time, but it can easily be done by hand. If you do use an electric mixer, just make sure you keep it on a low speed and stop as soon as everything is combined. Don't over mix the egg. Then you're going to need to add the water, and I will say, if you're using an electric mixer, I would strongly suggest changing your paddles for dough paddles at this point, because the mixture will start getting really thick. I was still using my regular mixing paddles, and it made everything go a little bit loco. So I changed them over, and then I added in the peanut butter, which made the mixture even thicker, and my electric mixer actually started dancing around the work surface. Once everything has been well mixed, lightly dust your work surface with flour to stop the dough from sticking and roll your dough out until it's about a centimetre in thickness, maybe a little thicker. I also added some extra flour on top of the dough to stop it sticking to my roller. Now just take your cookie cutter, I am actually using the nozzle from a piping bag, to cut out your cookies. Keep in mind, this makes a heck of a lot of cookies. That is no joke. This one piece of dough made a total of 426 cookies for me, which I had to cook in three batches, so yeah. Place your cookies onto your baking tray and bake them in the oven for around 15 to 20 minutes. I did the first two batches for 20 minutes and they were a little more well cooked than I would have liked. After baking, leave the cookies to cool down before feeding them. Don't feed them straight from the oven because they will be very hot. While I was scooping these into a bowl, I actually dropped a couple, which Bertie promptly cleaned up, so it seems as though they may be a hit with the cats as well. Store the cookies in an airtight container and they should last for several weeks, which I am very glad of because these are going to last us a long, long time. Now, whenever I make any treat tutorial videos, there is always at least one person who asks if they're okay for people to eat. Now, of course, they're safe for people to eat, but whether you actually want to eat them, eh. So I got Dan to be a taster guinea pig, and he had a mixed reaction to them, although he did go on to eat about five more, so I guess it really depends on the individual. The important thing, of course, is that John Hurt loved them, and they left him literally begging for more. So if you enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to leave us a thumbs up to help support the channel, and share the video with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!